hello everyone today in this video we are going to understand how can we make a two axis robotic arm using the node mco and the sg90 servo and using the uh, blink app as the interfacing app so let's get started So here you can see this is the ESP8266 node MCU. These are the two servos I have used. They are the 9G servo. And uh, this servo generally have three pins, the VCC ground and signal pin. So I have tied the five volt and the ground pin of both the servos together. And I have, I have supplied uh, it with five volts. Then you can see this is the x-axis servo whose signal pin that is PWM pin I have connected it to the D7th pin of the node MCU. Then the y-axis servo I have connected its uh, signal or PWM pin to the D8 pin of the node MCU. And then I have supplied node MCU with the 5 volts through the USB. You can also supply uh, the node MCU with the 5 volt through the V in pin. So this was about the circuit diagram. So now let's look how can we configure the Blink cloud using the Blink website. So you have to go to the Blink website, make an account and then you can enter in this window. So we are going to select a new template. We can select it. You can name it anything. So I'm going to name it servo control. Choose the hardware as ESP8266. Connection type as Wi-Fi. So now you can see we have created a template. Then uh, we are going to go into data streams. We are going to create a new data stream. Then we are going to select virtual pin. So first uh, we will just uh, configure this virtual pin data stream. So for X axis AXIS, we are going to select the pin as V1. Then units are none. And then we will select the value from 0 to 180 default value is 0 the type is integer then we will just create this data stream then uh, we are going to create another data stream for the y-axis virtual pin so we are going to select the v2 we are going to name here y-axis same here data type as integer then min value 0 and max value 180 default value is 0 so you can see we have created the two data stream x axis and y axis so then we are going to configure the interface on the android application we are not going to configure it in here so this was about the blink application so we will just click save then we'll just go to devices we will add our device so choose from the template so we have created the template as servo control create template so, so we have successfully added the uh, device so you can see here uh, on the right top corner you can see we have the blink authentication code right here so we are going to need this code uh, in the later part of the video in the code section. So this is how you can configure uh, some project using the Blink app. Now let's configure the Blink Android application. So here you can see we have uh, created the template and successfully added our device. So we'll just set up the uh, dashboard. So here we will choose a joystick, we will just place it in center. Okay, now we will just 
just uh, name it the servo control then we'll just select the data stream for the x axis we'll select the x and for the y axis of the joystick we'll select the y axis here you can see that uh, the data we have built in for the particular data stream set the right interval to 100 milliseconds now let's just uh, save this uh, template and there we have uh, our interface here so using this interface we can control the uh, robotic arm So now let's look at the code section of our project. So first of all, I have included the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library in order to connect our Node MCU to Wi-Fi network. Then I have included the Blink library in order to perform the Blink functionality. That means uh, using the various Blink functions. Then I have included the servo library in order to run the servos using the node MCU. Then I am creating two objects X and Y using the class servo. Then the authentication from the Blink uh, website, I am storing it into this variable right here. Then I am storing the SSID of the Wi-Fi which I wanted to connect in this variable and the password in this variable. Next in the void setup, I am initializing the serial monitor using the dot begin function and I am setting the baud rate to 9600. Then I am using the blink dot begin function in order to initialize the blink cloud connection and connect my node mcu to the wi-fi network so it takes auth ssid and pass as the arguments and this part is for connecting to the uh, blink server then i am uh, assigning the pins of the node mcu to the respective server using the dot attach function so 15th pin is uh, equal to d8 pin on the node mcu and 13th pin is equal to d7 pin on the node mcu then on the void loop part i am firstly using the dot run function in order to exchange our data continuously exchange our data from node mcu to Blink server so this is just a routine which is responsible to keep our uh, connection alive then I am using the blink write function in order to get the value from the server uh, that we have selected that is v1 and I am uh, using this uh, the value to write the position to the servo. So in the data stream we have selected minimum position to 0 and maximum position to 180. So minimum position that a servo uh, can attain is 0 and maximum position is 180 so that is why we have selected range from 0 to 180 so whatever data uh, we will get in the variable v1 we are just going to write this to the servo using the dot write function which is included in the servo.h library so this uh, statement is just uh, that incoming data is the integer then similarly I am performing the function whatever data from the v2 uh, we will receive from the server we are just going to write this to the <coughs> y uh, the y axis which is uh, the y axis related servo using the dot write function so this was our code so now let's test our project so here you can see this is the uh, two axis robotic arm the x axis and the y axis this is the blink interface 
this is the ESP8266 node MCU and these are the wiring connections we did according to the circuit diagram. So here you can see this uh, robotic arm moves along the two axes. This is the X axis and this is the Y axis. So this was uh, the robotic arm with the two axes. Uh, you can modify this project and create your own project according to your need. You can create uh, the robotic arm with six degrees of freedom, five degrees of freedom, four degrees of freedom using uh, multiple servos uh, <coughs> and multiple hinge connections. So these robotic arms has many uses in the industry. Uh, such as assembly line and all so this was uh, our project i hope you have liked it thank you very much